Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's June 7th. It's my sister's birthday. She turned 43 today. Happy birthday, even though <laughs> this will go up a week after her birthday. But anyway, she turned 43 today. She is like my sister twin. So she's the one that's right above me. I'm 40, she just turned 43. So we're like four, like two and two years and some months apart. And then um, my older sister and my little sister, they look a lot, a lot alike. Anyway. Um, welcome to a new vlog. I put some curls in my hair. As you can see, I got on brows, mascara, some lip gloss. That means I'm going somewhere. I was like on the phone with my friend while I was um, like after work and I was laying in the bed with a scarf and a robe and everything on. As you can see, the bed, like the covers on the bed is pulled back. Anyway, she's like, let's go to a, let's go outside. So we're gonna go um, have some drinks on a rooftop. Um, and I'm very basic, very, very basic. Um, just an Aritzia body suit, some Ray jeans, a crossbody, and then some toga, toga puller sandals. Girl, not too much, not too much. This ain't even like a OTD uh, ready, worthy. I didn't even do like a TikTok video. I am gonna grab my leather jacket because it's gonna be cold. Also, I got my nails done. Let me put my phone back down. Up and down, up and down. I did get my nails done period i had all the plans the reason i hadn't been getting my nails done remember i was saying oh i'm gonna let them grow out and then i'm gonna get like an overlay like maybe like a um like builder gel set and go short grow it in there and i got my pedicure first and after i got my pedicure i sat down in the chair to get my nails done i was like baby give me some gel x extensions who am i kidding i don't want i don't want that give me some gel x extensions funny bunny thank you so much anyway let me get my jacket Girl, that was my shoe. Because that sounds like a fart, but it was my shoe. I was going to take my leather jacket, but I think I'm going to just drape this black cost jacket over my shoulders like that. Because I feel like the leather is just too much. It ain't that damn cold. Anyway, oh, I also got my June reading. So I'm going to start reading this this weekend too. This is what my book club is reading for the month of June. I'm excited to read this. It looked like some tea. It's called Our Society. Molly Moon and the Glamour of Money and Power Behind the Silver Silver Rights Civil Rights Movement. So that looked like some throwback tea, right? Anyway, my phone just dinged, which means my friend is probably either on her way or downstairs. So I will talk to y'all a little. Maybe I'll vlog something. I don't know. When I be out with my friends, I'll be really wanting to vlog. Anyway, we'll talk soon. Oh, hey y'all! Happy Sunday. <laughs> it's 6:43 p.m. I did forget about y'all. I just ran out of time, but I just got in from the golfing event that I went to. It was so freaking fun. I think I want to take some lessons or at least like do something else, like something else like that. Anyway, it was so freaking fun. We went to, what was it called? Golf pro shop or something. I don't know, pro golf shop. I don't know. Anyway, but we went in there and we did like driving and uh, golfing anyway this is my golf my golfing outfit i just first of all let me take these sunnies off i ended up just wearing this like linen h&m skirt this little skirt from h&m and under here hold on i just have on like a wife beater so before it got chilly because of course it's chicago so it got chilly i just had the little skirt like this and then my Anina Bean like sweatshirt I had like over my shoulder skipping very got like golf chic and then on my feet hold on let me lower the camera and then on my feet I have on my sambas and just like some little socks so this was my golf outfit I thought it was super cute and like golfy and then I just had those Sunny's on that y'all saw me in and the hair held up i got my eyebrows done yesterday too i don't think i showed y'all all these but i went and got them threaded and cleaned up they look so good i don't get my brows done a lot but every time i do i'll be like i should do that more anyway then me and my friend went to cheesecake factory and the food was disgusting but i did get me a piece of reese's um cheesecake so i'm gonna sit and eat that um I need to finish reading this book for book club, which is on 
Wednesday because I fly out for Nashville on Thursday afternoon, like after work. So I am about to wash my hands, sit on the couch, eat this cheesecake. And I was supposed to do something when I came in here, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But I wanted to check in. Um, I'll put some footage from the golf after this, from golfing after this, um, because I did take some footage to make a TikTok, obviously. So I will put that in, uh, oh, my knee hurt. I will put that in um, after this clip. But yeah, this was cute. This was a cute little situation. I couldn't find a tennis skirt, so I had to just go with some shit. I already had cute the skirt is kind of big it's a medium too anyway okay talk to y'all later later talk to you later uh, okay I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop I quit I'm Leslie Billinger president of She Who Golf and we're an organization where our mission is to introduce inspire women all women but particularly women of color to play and love golf okay. stand back so you're not locked. Hold it up, one hand. That's your point finger. This hand. Okay. Okay. Feel it. Okay. 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 Take it back. Okay. Move back that way a little bit. Squeeze your back a little bit. And then remember shoulders all over your shoulders. So I think I'm gonna make this a pack with me style vlog. Like I'm about to pack for Nashville. I leave um, tomorrow. My flight leaves at like five or something like that. Um, so 5.45, I'm lying, it leaves after work, 5.45. Uh, so I am just going to, like I said, make this a pack with me video and then I'll edit it um, tonight, like after I'm done packing and then I'll put it up and then I'll start vlogging for Nashville separately. I just felt like it was gonna be too much. Like <laughs> it was gonna be too much. So pack with me for Nashville. I'm, I'm flying in tomorrow night, which is Thursday. And I'll be there through Monday. I fly back early Tuesday. We're literally off the plane um, and logging into work to work. So, um, yeah, I need enough for those days. I typically like to pack enough where I'll have two options for a day. So like I may have a plan to like dress up and then be like, I don't wanna, I don't feel like doing that. Our plans may change or whatever the case may be. Um, so that don't mean I'm bringing two, four, six outfits. I mean, I might bring six outfits. That don't mean I'm bringing two outfits a day. That just means I'm gonna bring like the main stuff that I wanna wear, like the few little fits I wanna get off, even though I'm so over the whole concept and idea. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about that. I'm so over the idea of like having looks to get off like for the internet. Like I know that that's kind of what I do online, but like every time I put on a fit is a fit. Like I, I just want to stop like differentiating my outfit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like I just want to get dressed and you know, it just be me getting dressed and it's not like this is a fit. This, and I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just me personally. I don't, I don't know, does that make sense? Maybe I need to flush that out more before I like make a TikTok about it. Anyway, we are going to pack. I'm not buying nothing new. I did not buy anything new. Well, I, I'm taking stuff that it, that's new, but I didn't buy it specifically for Nashville. It's just stuff that I've purchased that I haven't gotten to wear that I think would be good for my um, extended weekend in Nashville, if that makes sense. Um, I did make a new purchase yesterday and I made it because I wanted it, but also they're gonna be really good for London. Um, so I didn't make those for London, but I made them in time for London. So we'll talk a little bit about about those outfits, but we'll do a separate video for London. But while I'm like pulling stuff out, 
I'll show y'all um, a couple outfits that I already have, but I do need to do some some shopping um, for London. I need a couple couple dresses um, for like dinner, so nicer dresses. Um, and I typically don't buy not necessarily nice dresses. Y'all get what I'm saying? I typically don't buy stuff like that until I have something to do. Um, so yeah, I need to get some stuff for for that trip, which is in a few weeks so anyway let's get the cracking i need that damn tripod but i ain't finna try to dig it out so i'm about to pop y'all up somewhere in the corner <laughs> oh for the best the lighting is terrible like i look orange i don't like that but y'all just gonna have to deal with it because tis what to tis it is what it is well once i pull the stuff out of the closet we'll move back into the living area so the lighting is a little better but let me pull some stuff out of here first um first let me show y'all what i know for sure i'm taking to dc i mean dc uh dc is on the brain for other reasons <laughs> um but i know i'm taking to london so they're not gonna make like the uh nashville cut but they are new newish new in items who emailing me Farfetch, girl, leave me alone. That fucking dog bark all day. It's quite annoying, actually. So this. So this white vest that I got from Janae's collaboration with Target, I'm taking this to um, London with me. And I'm going to wear it with those uh, cost pants that I have that I wore for my birthday. Like the red ones with the white stripe down the side. So I'm not going to take that to Nashville because I'm going to take it to London. Which I guess it really doesn't matter because I can wear my stuff whenever I want to wear my stuff. So I know for sure that that's a London outfit. And then um, I have a pair of these. And then I have these uh, pleats please, uh, like stirrup pants. I wore them like during the winter time once with like some boots. I have these that I think are gonna be cute. It's like a, you know, trail up around London um, outfit with just like a, um, I saw this t-shirt on Koss. It's just like a boxy style, like crop t-shirt. Uh, these sit a little high on the way, so won't no belly will be showing, uh, but I think it'll cut right where these start on my waist so those are going to be cute i'm going to take those to london and i'm going to wear them stirrup style with the shoes that i bought this week let me show y'all i bought some um some um what a girl why am i losing my train of thought i bought some hold on y'all <laughs> jill saunder girl i could not get good i could not think of it but I bought a pair of um, shoes from Jill Saunders yesterday. They're a pair of like um, pointy toe ballet flats. Not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but y'all know I don't give a damn. No, no shade, no tea. But these ballet flats from Jill Saunders. But I got them off the Outnet. As you can see, they are nine hundred and forty dollars. I did not pay nine hundred forty dollars for these. Y'all know how I get down. I'm gonna find a sale. Um. Anyway, they came up on the Outnet for four twenty three. So I bought those. So those are gonna be cute with these stirrups and just like a white tee um, and a cute little black bag. I still need to find a cute little small like crossbody something um, in black. I think I'll look when I'm in Nashville uh, to carry with me. So these are coming, I like to roll those to keep the shape. Um, these are coming to London. So oh, my oven is on because I'm hungry and I don't really feel like cooking so I'm just about to make some bacon. <laughs> anyway, um, these are going to London, so they're not coming to Nashville. I also have that pair of like white, off-white Ray E denim that I purchased recently that I want to take with me because I thought a cute little like white pair of denim um, in London would be cute and I want to get some sort of like top to go with that. So I have some options for London. I don't need to buy a lot, but I do need to get some stuff. But for Nashville, like I said, we are shopping this closet. So first off, so I pulled a couple tops out of my drawers that I know I want to take. Listen, y'all already know. <laughs> y'all already know. Y'all already know they were coming. My um, 
Margiela slick jeans. Girl, wherever I go, they go. My buddy, kid sister, whatever you wanna call them. So we're gonna take these. These are my capris. This is a skirt. I'm gonna show y'all all this stuff better when I get into better lighting and like what I plan to wear it with. Oh yeah, I wanted to take this dress. Where is it? Where it? Oh, you know what else I forgot to tell y'all? I'm gonna take this to London too. Cause I think this would be a cute little London. I haven't, I've worn this once. I wore it for my birthday, like two years ago, two, three years ago. Uh, and I haven't worn it again. So I'm gonna wear it probably exactly like I wore it the last time with like a white t-shirt under it and some cute little sneaks or sandals. So that's gonna come to London too. So that's another thing um, that I'm taking, but that's not what I came here for. That was Ghani, by the way, I forgot to say. I am looking, where is my little cute little, y'all know it's hot in um, Nashville. So I'm trying to take the least clothes, like, you know what I'm saying? Not, too, I'm not trying to do too much is what I'm saying. This line by K dress, I'm gonna take this too as like an easy outfit for dinner or something to Nashville. So I wanted to grab that out of the closet too. And then I need to dig in a bag for some stuff. So I'll be back. I'm not about to dig in a bag on, a can on, on this camera. Okay, I'm back. I had to eat my bacon really quick because I'm starving or I was starving. Anyway, I think I got most of what I'm taking out on this bed. So um, I think the last clip I was like, oh, I gotta pull some stuff out the closet. So I needed to find where these shorts were. So these are just a pair of black a goldy denim. I love these shorts. So I'm gonna take those and um, I intend on wearing them. Where is the fucking, oh. With this Y Project tee that I showed y'all later, I think that'll be cute. And then I'll wear it with those Zara sandals that I um, showed y'all in the last vlog. Did I show y'all this? Or was it this vlog? One of them vlogs, I showed y'all some Zara sandals that I got um, that somebody picked up for me in Paris and sent them to me. So this is going to be like an outfit. Like that'll be one of the outfits. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I pulled this orange dress out to wear one night to dinner or, you know, an afternoon. I don't know. We're going to a concert one night. Um, Blavity, y'all know Blab Blab Blavity. They bought a house party. They're having like a concert festival situation in Nashville this weekend. So we're going to one night of the concert. Uh, something. I don't know. We're going to a concert. And so I probably um, wear something um, because this is kind of tight and restrictive, even though it's just like t-shirt and shorts, but I plan on wearing it with heels, so I'm not wearing it to no concert. So I'm going to wear this other Y Project t-shirt that I bought recently, the invisible one. So I'm gonna wear this t-shirt and um, I'm going to wear it with these Margiela jeans. So that's another outfit. So that's three outfits. And then I'm going to wear my black capris. I don't know if y'all remember the either TikTok or if y'all saw it on um, YouTube shorts. <laughs> I put together a cute little like 90s inspired outfit with these capris that I got from Zara. So I'm going to actually wear that outfit this weekend. I think minus the hip, the bandana. So I'm just going to wear the capris with just a plain white, like super cropped tee from Target. Um, and I'll probably wear those Zara sandals again. I think I might take another pair of mules um, instead, like two, just in case I want to switch it up, but like a pair of mules and then That'll be it for that. So that's one, two, three, four outfits to choose from. And then remember this skirt that I bought from Naked to try to recreate that. Did I show y'all that? I might be TikTok, but I got this skirt from Naked. Um, it's just like a maxi uh, style skirt. It has like a slit in the back. And then it has like this detail here. And I wanna wear like a cute little um, like baby tee with it, but not 
this kind of baby tea. I was looking for a specific type of baby tea, but I can't find it. But I also really liked it with like a tank, but not this kind of tank, maybe more like a Razorback tank. So I have to run to Target today. These are, by the way, this is the A New Day like rib tank from Target. I love these, I swear by these, swear by them. Um, I Black, gray, and, and white, I buy them all the time. So I'll probably, when I run to Target today, I would prefer more of like a Razorback style shirt. Um, and I'll probably get it in like a, I typically wear like a, a medium, but I'll probably get it in a small, maybe an extra small so it'll fit a little cropped. But then I'll wear it with that skirt and um, that'll be another outfit. And then I can wear it with one of the two pairs of mules. So I'm literally only taking two pairs of, of heels. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. That's plenty. And I can, you know, figure out what I'm going to wear where, when, how like as the day comes right because plans change fluctuate it rains whatever the case may be so depending on what the weather is looking like that's when i'll wear any of these then something else that i uh like to do is just bring a lounge outfit because one day we might decide we don't want to do nothing at all and i need something that i could just throw on and be comfortable in so i'm gonna take this sporty and rich just two piece outfit that I dug out of that bag too so it's just like a pair of sporty and rich bike shorts and then a t-shirt to go with that and I could just wear it with whatever sneakers that I uh, pack I think I'm gonna take a pair of my Asics because they're the most comfortable um and then I'll wear and then I'll take my golden goose so I'll take those two and then I packed a bunch of t-shirts so I'm taking a white tank and I'm taking a gray tank so again if plans change and I just need to throw stuff on I have a couple tanks I could throw on with either these short these these black shorts or with my um margillo jeans or even with like the capris whatever I just have a couple like throw on like tanks and then um if it gets cold or i don't i just don't want to wear tanks or we're doing something that's on the inside and i want to be a little more covered up i'll just bring a whole t-shirt let me smell good i'll just bring a whole t-shirt and i can wear it with the black shorts with the with the jeans whatever probably with the black shorts i probably wouldn't wear this or whatever this smell good um and then i just brought another white like tank but like you know one with a little more detail so it's a little more elevated so maybe I want to do just a white t-shirt and the Margiela jeans or the white t-shirt and the A Goldie shorts. But I want it to look a little more elevated and then like sling, like slide on a heel. So I brought this tank. It like wraps around your neck or whatever. So it's still a white tank, but it's just a little more um, detail. And that's it. That's it. All this came out of my closet. I did not buy anything for this trip. Um, I need to decide, I think I just decided which sneakers I was bringing, right? I'll probably bring, wear my Asics on the plane and then pack my Golden Goose. I'm trying to just do a carry-on. And then I'm going to take those Zara sandals and another pair of mules. I guess I can pull that out and show y'all once I decide which shoes I'm going to wear. And that's it. I'll probably take one workout outfit, even though I don't plan on doing any working out. Um, but I'll take one just in case. Uh, I want to like go on a walk or something like that. And I can just go on a walk in my Asics. And then some sleeping clothes. And that's it. That's all I need. Hopefully it all fit in my little carry-on because, girl, I don't know what the f I was doing. I must have been trying to like buy the cheapest flight so i could pay with points because my flight to chicago i just looked i mean to nashville i just looked at it it has a layover i don't do layovers like i i mean let me quit acting like that but i try to avoid layovers as much as i can especially domestically anyway i got a layover so i don't like checking my bag when i have a layover so we're gonna have to make this shit fit in um 
I just lost my train of thought in my carry-on. So I'll figure out what shoes I'm going to wear. I'll show that. And then we'll see if we can get it all in that suitcase. And that'll end the vlog. Sorry, it's short. So I just got done pulling summer shoes out of that top bin. And I didn't realize how many, like how much I got rid of when I moved. And I've sort of been on a, like a quest to buy non-sneaker shoes, but y'all know they, they get expensive. So I don't have a lot of options. Some of these are just shoes I needed to take out since it was warming up anyway, but let me show y'all what I'm taking. So I have, my, okay, my leg already messed up. Um, I have this pair of mules from Topshop. I think I'm gonna take these as an option so that's one. Ooh, I want to kind of take these song of style ones because I think they would look so dope with that Y project shirt but then that means I would be bringing an extra pair of heels when I only wanted to bring two because I just think they would look so dope with that like asymmetric neck so now I have to bring these because it's a part of the look, but that also means I can't wear that outfit to anything that I'm gonna be doing a lot of standing and walking because these bitches hurt bad. Okay, so we taking those too. Okay, so now we finna get into overpacking territory. I knew it. Then I wanna take these Zara shoes because i initially thought these would look dope with the white project tank but um i forgot i had those song of style ones that i think those would look better so i'm gonna take those for that but then i'm also going to take these and i think i'll wear this with the um other white project top the invisible tank and the margilla jeans but i planned on wearing that's the concert I feel like I'm about to be playing myself, but I'll take my little flats in a bag. Anyway, okay, so now I got three pairs of heels. I did not want to do that, but such is life. Such is life. Anyway, a pair of flat sandals. These are my trusty um, Arizona Love, like Trekkie sandals. I can't commit to the Tevas right now. They are a two like something. So I went with a more stylish version of a Teva, in my opinion. And then I'm gonna take my little Golden Goose sneakers and then I'm gonna wear a pair of sneakers and that's it. This should still all fit in my little carry-on. We shall see. And then I just pulled my trusty Nike slides out because I be needing something to throw on to run my errands. And yeah, I had to pull those on out of the bin. My Javianas, these are usually, I take these on trips, like beach vacations. I'm gonna put these back in the bin. And then these Topshop sandals are supposed to be throw on and I really like them. But when I tell y'all these bitches be cutting into my feet, I read something where I need to um, take a lighter and burn around the inside of the edges so it'll Whatever little things, sticky things that are in there that's cutting into my feet will stop doing it. But they're so cute. But I haven't been able to wear them like as much as I want to because they be eating my. Like if I'm doing a lot of walking, they be eating me up, and I can't do that. But that's what I bought them for, like a flat sandal to walk in. I don't care what nobody say. Unpopular opinion: sandals are not comfortable. I'm talking about flat sandals, unless they something like this Arizona love that got like this cushy foam in it. But other than that, sandals, sandals, even flat are not comfortable. My toka pullers ain't comfortable. No flat sandals that I have are comfortable. They're just not. That's my opinion, I'm sticking to it. Anyway, those are the shoes I'm taking. Now let's try to pack that stuff. I need to get my toiletries and stuff together first and then we'll try to pack this stuff. Now, why did I forget to show y'all me putting that stuff in that suitcase? But it did fit, barely. I had to, you know, it got like the little second zipper on the side to let it out a little bit. I had to let that thing out. Uh -huh. 
in order for it to fit, but it's in there. That's my little carry-on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is whatever I wear, because I always have to take a hoodie with me, I'm just going to drape my hoodie over my shoulders. And then of course we're taking the Masubi and I had to put my makeup bag in my Masubi. Um, so I don't got room for nothing else but a couple eyeglass cases. And I'm gonna have to squeeze my camera in here some kind of way. So this is gonna be heavy as hell. But anyway, that's it. Masubi, carry on. That's what we're taking. We're good to go. I just need to run to Target. I need to get some stuff for the house. I ran out of mouthwash. I was saying I need to get stuff for the house from Target. I need to get me some mouthwash. It was something else that I ran out of. So I need to look. Soap. Mouthwash and soap. I got like two bars of soap left. And then I'm going to pick up just like a little like razorback tank to wear with that um, skirt that I got from Naked. Um, and I'm going to slide that in that suitcase. And we're going to be good to go. I'm going to take two pairs of sunnies. Let me show y'all. Or three. I'm lying. I'm going to take three pairs. So I'm going to wear my YSL sunnies to the airport because they're clear. And I can just keep them on. Like I don't have to take them off. And then I'm going to take this pair of St. Laurent sunnies. Why did I have to go to Lens Crafters yesterday and walk in and ask them to help me? Because when I went out with my homegirl and her dude and I got a little tipsy, I don't know what I did, but I must have put them in my purse. Anyway, the, the arm of them ended up messed up, so they fixed them for me. So I'm gonna take those. And then I'm also going to take these Ray-Bans, which I be forgetting about. And then I was like digging through my stuff today. I was like, oh, I'm gonna take those. Instead of taking my brown pair of St. Laurent cat eyes, I think I figured I'd just take something a little different. So when I don't want to wear black sunnies, I'll just wear this pair of Ray-Bans. I love these. I always forget about these. Anyway, so those are the three sunnies that I'm going to take. Two of them have to fit in that Masubi. And that's it. That's me being all packed for Nashville. So I'll end this vlog here and um, get it edited and up tomorrow to go live tomorrow thursday the i don't know the day thursday and then um yeah i'll be out of here on tomorrow night so thank y'all so much for watching oh my arm hurt thank y'all so from <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching um it turned into a packing vlog but you know we we make it work around here we're trying to get content because that's what y'all say y'all want <laughs> so anyway um the next thing y'all see is a vlog from my time in nashville maybe some reels i mean um shorts they're called on youtube as i'm like doing otds on tiktok while i'm in nashville so anyway the next long form video on here you'll see is me in nashville anyway um thank y'all so much for watching i appreciate all the support make sure that you're following me across z platforms they're all linked in the description below and i will talk to y'all in nashville and i just got word that those cicadas are gone which is good side note before i leave my friend and i when we were golfing the cicadas are here in chicago but they're not like in the city they're in the suburbs so the golfing event that we went to was in the suburbs and as we're leaving you could like hear the cicadas they're so freaking loud so i like made a comment as i was getting in the car like oh my god listen at those cicadas well let me hear people get in the car before one is on me so me and my friend get in the car i look over to my left and it's a fat ass cicada on her shoulder and i'm like oh my god girl there is the cicada on your shoulder and she like jumped out the car and started screaming and running around and like do her and i couldn't get my phone out quick enough to record it so i didn't get the footage but anyway speaking of cicadas anyway okay for real i have to go bye